Okay. Hi again. So, after using the restroom and taking a shit, I realized I had an outstanding Google Play Rewards balance. So I used it all in order to get two dice of fate. And also... Okay, so... There's nothing I can't fix. I can handle this. Okay. Zoomy, let's see. When Osria still loomed over the mid Elysian River, parents of good children would abandon them on the doorstep of Ka Orphanage. Izumi was one such child without mother and father. However, the orphans still grew up healthy and strong among their own kind. Big Izumi has always been slower than normal, which made him come off as gullible and a regular target for pranks. One day he was being mocked mercilessly. And then he came along and rescued him. The two became best friends and joined the young Azrians together. After the Battle of Azria, the guy's internal schism befuddled and scared Izumi. Especially the rift between old friends Eddie and Miles. He didn't join anyone but stayed with the Never Isle Corps. He still doesn't want to pick a side or see his friends break up. He misses the time the trio had in the young Azrians. How prosperous and tolerant Azria was. Whether it's Eddie or Miles, they're still his friends, and as such, he will always protect them as he does the last bastion of Gai. Okay. Quests. Achievements. Collection. Claim. Okay. Okay. The flux flows through. Summon
Okay, so... <sighs> okay. Hold on. Please say I get... Okay, go back to currency, I guess. Okay, so... Okay. I really want to continue the story, but... Mm, do I? Give me a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and really quick... Bear with me. Turn it. Yeah, no, I'm not going to go that crazy.
Back to it. So, will it pick up right where we left off or start the chapter over? Because then I... I... Okay, right where we left off. Perfect. Are you also a gay? Yeah, Nettie, Brother Wolf, Master Turing, we're all gay. Are you not? I'm not too sure. Well, you should be careful then. Brother Wolf really doesn't like ordinary humans that much. Is he friendly with other guys? Uh, he's still kind of fierce. But really loyal. When the going gets rough, he's always on the front lines doing quests and helping others. And he selflessly, protect, selflessly protects us. Doesn't seem to care about the safety of his friends, though, does he? Are and Mel's really friends? I guess so. They fight each time they meet each other. But Brother Wolf's height, weight, and his favorite food and color. Eddie knows all these things. Every time I'm in trouble, I talk to Eddie for help. I heard that they were, like, very good friends when they were very young. But something happened later. I'm not too sure, but I do remember... Once when Brother Wolf was injured and unconscious, and I was trying to patch him up, he kept moving and saying, Idiot! Eddie! You are such an idiot. I only said those words out of anger. Are you going to be mad over them for the rest of your life? Those words? What did he say to Eddie? I don't know either. I asked him, but all that did was make him mad at me. I wanted to ask Eddie, but that didn't feel like it was appropriate. That would be like reminding him of things that he didn't want to talk about. This kind of thing is not about us. They have to figure it out for themselves. Who am I kidding? I must help Brother Wolf mend this golf. I really think he wants to fix his relationship with Eddie. What kind of organization are the Oathblades? It's specifically designed to fight those guys. Wherever there are bad guys trying to hurt us, we'll be there to teach them a lesson. But Brother Wolf never let me fight. I was the medic responsible for healing people, but it seems that people really didn't want my healing. In fact, I think they actively avoided me. Why? Probably because I could never get the needle in properly. But I am much better now. I can put it within 10 armpit. Sorry. Within 10 attempts. That's great. Totally. Better than what I can do. I sure hope I don't get hurt on this operation. Okay. Will be dangerous at the factory. I heard that it's most, the most heavily guarded factory in Red Harbor. Their boss hired a whole bunch of thugs. Brother Wolf always runs solo, even when it's dangerous to go alone. Looks like he doesn't know that we're all worried about him. Perhaps Miles goes solo because he doesn't want others to be in danger. So would you like to come with me to persuade him? Sure. But will he listen to us? You never know until you try. Okay. I'm going to look around and see if there's anything I'm missing here. This looks like a uniform? Tidily packed away, sensing that Turing has some real mixed feelings about his past. I hope boss is all right. What's with you and Miles? What's with... I don't want to talk about it. What does mundane mean? Derogatory term, guy used for regular humans. Just like some normal humans who hate guy would call us yellow eye. Guys who look down on humans like Miles would call them mundanes. The meaning is something like, we can, we can useless people. Whatever it is, it's a bad word. Heard that you were a member of the, uh, oh. Oh, oh, what? I meant order. Sorry, I lost my turn of thought there for a second. You, oh, you mean the order of equality. Order of equality and Oathblades are both guy organizations. But unlike the Oathblades, however, we wish to build a world that can allow both guys and normal humans to coexist in harmony. 
Miles belongs to the Oathblades. Their philosophy runs counter to ours. Nothing. Okay. Okay, I thought I saw something flickering right here. Are you also a guy? What is, is this crap? All the members of the lights are guy. Everyone knows that. I, I don't care who you are. Anyone who sticks around Eddie is either an idiot or a coward. <laughs> well, are you an idiot or a coward? Well, aren't I with you right now? You. <laughs> What's your relationship with Eddie? What's with me and him? Nothing. We just used to train together. What do you think? It's an organization meant to deal with you mundanes, of course. Yeah. Why are you still here? Do you want to fight? Factory could be dangerous. Cut the crap. So would you like to come with us? What? With that idiot Eddie? And you? The mundane? Oh, come on. Don't talk to him like that. They're just trying to help you out. Strength in numbers. We need to maximize our chances of success. If we don't get Master Turing out this time, it'll be even worse when they're prepared for us. <laughs> Did Eddie send you? Tell him to stop worrying. Gray and I have enough... Are enough to rescue Turing. No way, that's too risky. I can't let you go unless you let me come with you. Stay here? How many times do I have to repeat myself? <sighs> Wait. Aren't... Aren't you worried about Eddie? What do you mean? If Eddie's in danger in that factory, what's this got to do with me? Hmm. Mm hmm? In fact, I hope he does get hurt. Not by you, but by those people in the factory. Mm. I suppose you're right a bit. If he ends up getting hurt by those mundanes, the honor of all the guys around everywhere would be stained. So what do you say? All right, let's do this. But you tell him this. I'm never going to follow his orders. Okay. I hope boss is alright. Chat. Oh, that's great. How'd you manage to persuade him? Eh. Let's talk about it later. Rescue mission first. Okay, let's get going. Please bring Boss back. You be careful, too. Oh, don't worry. And don't forget to take care of Brother Wolf for me. Huh? Hmm. So are we going, or what? Yes. Chapter complete. Hmm, okay. Set up another chapter. Why are we marching in from the front when we could have climbed through a window? <laughs> Too much work, this is faster. But you've alerted just about everyone here. We'll take them all on. Let's find Turing first. Hmm. Whatever. Shall we split up? This place is huge. Where am I even going to begin? Hey, there's a case. You found some glittering runestones in the box. There is also a note. A doctor should have a kind heart and strive for perfection. Okay. Huh? 
I've got to decide. But I've decided. For anything that looks unusual with the terrain. Check everything. There's a patrolling guard in the area. There's a room on the left. We can hide and wait for him to pass. He seems quite weak. We should be able to overpower him. Hide or fight. Your call. Hide. Dick, you bastard. I swear I'm going to work you over when I get the chance. Huh? Who's that? Well, you heard me. Tell him if you want to. Not like the bastard doesn't know I hate him. No, no, no. I'm not from the factory, but I do have a personal score to settle with him. He's just a two-bit con man. I borrowed from him when I needed money to pay for my sister's treatment. The compound interest for said payment ended up indenturing me to him for ten years. If you can teach him a lesson, I'm all for it. Don't worry, I promise to make it hurt for him. I don't really know this place. Where can I find Dick? There's only... The only way is there. Just walk all the way inside. Dick's office is at the very end. But a guard's in the way. Don't worry. I'll distract his attention. Thanks. Do you have it? Here. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna pause. Master. Says he's a master inventor. Inventor? It's a filthy yellow eye. Okay. I just put my lunch in a few hours late, but... Uh, got hungry. I'm not about to eat the last piece of my little brother's birthday cake, so... Alright. Master Dick's been in a bad mood recently. You better get back to work now. Otherwise, everyone will suffer. Okay. Oh, I think I can hear someone fighting over there. Here you are. Where's Eddie? Take out these big guys first. Okay. Auto battle has been unlocked. Tap auto to activate. Oh, okay. Ow. So it actually wants me to use auto battle.
Ah, screw it, I'm gonna eat the cake, too. Are you alright? Just a flesh wound. Was gonna talk things were tough. Thank you for saving me. Really would be really sad if something happened to you. Where did Eddie go? I hope we don't have to rescue him too. Let's find him first. Okay. Two guards in front. Attack. Which workshop are you from? Are you with that yellow eye? I don't understand. Take him. Got touring. Everyone's okay. Oops. We're trapped. Don't worry, I'll take them all on. Yeah, you're outnumbered. I'll be able to escape into the sewers through here, but it's sealed. 
That's my armor one over there, but it looks like it's damaged. If I can fix it, maybe we can blow the cover off. Go fix it now, leave the mundanes to us. We have them surrounded. I only wanted one, but now there are three more. Keep one for labor, then turn the other three in to get some money from the white capes. No! Get- get them! Protect Turing! Lux combo. transforming into wolves and you call yourselves humans you're no different from the shadow beasts if you're not eliminated the shadows will return you must die for the greater good the kais have been fighting the shadow during the second war against the shadow the kais were the vanguard of the alliance army these are just ancient stories no one knows what really happened it doesn't matter what you do you're monsters! Enough! Destroy shadows for the greater good? Where was your justice when Asgard was under siege? Where was your justice when those children were left behind? Where was your justice when your loved ones were burnt alive? You so-called humans are the worst monsters! Die! <laughs> Did you ever wonder why no one gave you any trouble during your time in Red Harbor? Do you think that no one knows who the guy is? Hey. You were found. And if you weren't, the Red Harbor guards would have destroyed your lab without involving the White Capes. If you're smart, This is one of the ones that has an armor rating. Yeah. 
<clears throat> Watch out! The Cyan Ryan is equipped with the most advanced electric cannon equipment there is. Get ready. Okay, so never mind. I thought that it would have a shield, but it doesn't. So. Looks like I might have just burned through the last of what I could do today. Let's force this connection, shall we? Shoot. It's connected in the middle of a battle. <sighs> okay. I'll be back. Okay, I just got disconnected for a bit, but I'm back.
trying to find where I put my vaporizer. Lux combo. Okay, so it didn't fall into the couch cushions. But I set it down and it just fell into it now. I didn't do that. Okay. Weak sauce. You guys all right? Just some minor injuries, don't worry. There's more where that came from. You cannot escape. Turing, are you done yet? Yes, firing now, so stand back. What? No. Okay, so the factory floor is done. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm tapping exactly where it's saying, so that is a glitch. I'm going to go ahead and pause. Okay. So, the flux flows.
Okay. Okay. I was expecting this as like in a sort of like a virtual arena fight, not like PvP, but like PV computer. Okay. Okay. care of. We haven't found a way to cleanse it, so we have to keep coming back and eliminate the Shadow Beasts. Best moment is here. Check out what kind of runes will these jewels create. This is a method created by the Shadow Hunters. Engraving the rune onto weapons will drastically improve its performance. Next stage... going to automatically load the next one. Okay. Okay. And here's where it turns into a summoner's arena clone, basically, I'm guessing. Found it. Next. Oh, this is fun, though. Like, watching them plow through all of these. I, I, I okay, fine. Not plow. Bust. I'm no, not bust. Ah, ah. Sorry, the thirst. Watching them destroy. Okay, that one I must allow because there's no other way to say it. All of these. <sighs> the low-level weaklings. Next. Oh no, don't tell me I lost connection. Okay, no I didn't. Okay, good. Next. Load the next one. Cardfight Vanguard might wind up having to wait. Because uh, I'm willing to bet the better I get at this, the more summoning cubes I'm going to get. And summoning dice. And they are just summoning cubes. Let me really boil it down. Oh no. Lost connection again. Man, life is rough.
Все. Okay. 